Hello and welcome. We're in the Psychology and Ageing Lab within the Mary Seacole building and we're joined today by Dr Will Young, James, Oz and Lisbeth who are three of our Brunel students who are going to fast forward in time to see what it feels like to be an older person. They're currently putting on the suits now so we'll take a look and ask them a few questions to see how it feels. Up nice and tight but you just let me know if, uh, if it gets too tight, we don't want you losing the feeling in your leg. Okay. So we need to keep your legs straight here, because if we put it on whilst it's bent, then we're, we're not going to be uh, debilitating you enough. So how does that feel? It feels okay. okay. I'm a third year physiotherapy student. Um, I've done a few placements so far, um, a musculoskeletal one, um, a paediatric surgery one, and most recently a neuro rehab one. And I've got two coming up after um, in the next few weeks. Fantastic. And you've used the suits quite a bit in your learning, haven't you? Mm, yes, we've used them a few times. Um, we've done a couple of tutorials. With the stroke suit, how much do you think that's going to help? Like being able to wear that with um, the physiotherapy course? I think it's definitely relevant in terms of neurology. Um, so when I was on my neuro rehab um, placement, we had a patient who had a dropped foot, so his leg would literally drag along the floor. And when I was wearing the suit, I felt very much the same. So I'd have to use a lot of my hip strength, a lot of my trunk muscles to help me move my leg. Whereas he didn't have that ability. So for me, it was okay because I have the background ability, but he didn't have that due to his condition. So I can kind of empathize as to why it was so difficult for him to do things and maybe why we had to take a few steps back with him before he could progress. And with the actual aging suit, which you wore at the beginning, yeah. uh, how much do you think that um, helps with your course? Again, so it's thinking about the deconditioning of the um, older people. So when we go and treat patients, we have to understand that they're going to be at a lot lower level than we are. So we have to adapt our sessions, adapt our treatment to focus on their starting level. And we can set good structured SMART goals with them to help them progress through. Okay, and what about the sort of hearing and vision impairments? Is that sort of being able to see how that impacts? Did that help you at all? Would that, would that help you with your course? Yeah, definitely. So we can see that they have um, altered communication um, and difficulty listening to instructions. So if we're giving them an exercise programme, we may have to give them a few different ways of remembering it. So giving them an exercise sheet, um, going through it with them, and also like a member of family who could help them out. So if they could pop in, if we explain things to them as well as the older person, then have a better adherence to exercise and hopefully they'll progress a bit more. Perfect, thank you.